set some fat fucking old jackass on me, please. Big man. We had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey. Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real fat asses. Put a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a deal hey. with them. Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. A pleasure. You fuck what? Where are you going, tough guys? Throwing me softballs, the rum runner. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael, maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know, but could you come by the studio now? I got something I'd like to show you. Fuck. Yeah, of course, I'll be right over. Turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Oh. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. Movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. <laughs> All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby, I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me. Hey. What you doing here? I mean, I'm real glad you're here. Come here. Uh, come I on. can't stay. What's up, babe? No, it's Lamar. What that fool want now? It's your best friend. He's your best fucking friend. For real. My best friend. My homeboy, right? My nigga. Man, fuck you. I mean, not like that, man. But no, he ain't. He just another nigga from the hood. Him, stretching all the motherfucking clowns. All he want to do is drag a motherfucker down and live in the past. And this is the future? A big empty house with nobody who gives a fuck about you. Well, shit, it works for me. It can work for you, babe. I'm getting married, Franklin, to a doctor, not a murderer. Then what the fuck you doing here, Tanisha? I'm worried about Lamar. You got to help him, Franklin. Man, that shit is over. Oh, I'm a legitimate businessman now, sister. I'm a CEO, an investor. I'm a Illuminati. I'm a fucking moron, nigga. You a phony fuck. What? I ain't saying you got to marry the fool. 
I'm saying he's about to get killed over that deal you and him put on with... Stretcher set him up. Oh, fuck, man. My whole fucking life I've been looking after this motherfucker and paying a price afterward. Fuck. Well, at least do it one more time, Franklin, for me. For you? For you and your doctor? I love you and Lamar. We grew up together, but this life ain't for me, and you knew that. You ain't changing. I don't care how many cars you own, how many apartments you own, I don't care how many diamonds you put in your ear, it ain't for me, not done bad or done good. Babe, look, I'll change. No, you won't, and that's fair enough, but at least respect what you do, who you are. If you let that idiot die, you a bigger asshole than I thought. Look, he's going up to some sawmill near Polito Bay. Ugh, you do what you gotta do. Franklin, what's up? Hey, man, I'm in a bit of a bad situation. My boy Lamar got set up. I think he up near Polito Bay at some sawmill with some ballers. Could you, like, do some computer magic and look into it? Is that possible? Or into the Polito Bay police network left over from the score we did up there. And give me a second here. Uh, hold on. Uh, yes. So what it say? Huh. Uh, this must be it. Uh, there are older reports of a weed operation being run by an African-American gang. The files got buried, so I'm guessing they paid off the cops. They growing weed up there? Growing it in the hills, most likely, but they might be packing and shipping it out of this sawmill. I'd expect a fair few of them up there. Shit. And I'm gonna need some help. Can you tell Mike and Trevor to meet me up there? They still aren't getting along that well. Tell them it's for me, and it's serious. Thanks, man. Why'd you invite this stoolie, huh? We want Lamar to be rescued, not sold to the feds. Give it a rest, asswipe. Man, what y'all two shut the fuck up? Now let's take a look at this place, man. Lester said this was some type of big weed store spot. Place is crawling with ballas, you know? Now me and you, we don't mind the old gang warfare, but suede bucks over there. <laughs> yeah. Tell Trevor I said bite me. Man, I said shut up. Now I see the weed, but where the fuck is Lamar? Oh, shit, there you go. You know what? Tell Trevor I'm gonna be up on this hill with my rifle. I don't want to be anywhere around him when he fucks this whole thing up. Classic. Classic, huh? He's already planning his escape. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna find a way... Okay, you're the expert in springing attacks on the unsuspecting. I like to look... Find a dude. Laying down fire! Here I come, assholes! Turn you into wood chip. Oh, crazy dude! Hey, homie! Yeah, 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 get up. Let's go. Come on, guys, if you're in force, you gotta move. Oh, Frank! 
Frank's here too. Hey, Frank, you thought he came by himself? Come on, man. Here come the rest of the motherfuckers. Hey, dude's all up on the wall and shit. I think I'm going to flip the suit. Hey, let's stay this side where Michael can cover. There's another dude in the bushes. Or get killed off of Tony. Man, you always a pessimist. Nah, nigga, a realist. Because in reality, all them fools want to clap your ass. Man, what a trust that, dog. I peeped out that wood chopping place when we was up this way on that Devin Weston car lit, which I still ain't been paid for, incidentally. All secluded and shit. Stretch hit me up. I'm like, yeah, that's the perfect place to buy Kush by the busy. Nigga, perfect place to clap some fool you beefing with. Man, I ain't even know at the time. I just thought we was going to parlay. Parlay? Nigga, please. Every time you leave the house, fools try to clap you. Every meet you set up, homies there for the express purpose of yourself. Fuck you, man. I don't care if I... Doc, it's a compliment if they send an army after a nigga. They only send like two of the little homies to get you. <laughs> nigga. So I guess... I guess what we learned is... Nigga don't think it ain't no fun to be half fucking with the homies, nigga. You feel me, my nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can look at it like that. Hey, but on some real shit, my nigga, uh, you know your nigga out here doing BAD, man. Why don't you slide me a few dollars or something? You know what I'm talking about? It's hard out here in the set. Oh, shit, my nigga, that's nothing. Shit, nigga, I know you done went all Illuminati and shit, you know what I'm saying? Leaving the street niggas in the back, but... Damn, man, uh, way to keep a nigga down, my nigga. I mean, thank you, I guess. Payment for all the work a nigga put in for you getting the cars and shit, you know what I'm talking about? Give a nigga just enough money to get him a little 40 ounce in a bucket of chicken on the way to the poor house, huh? Man, don't be like that, dawg. Cause number one, I never got paid for them motherfucking cars. Number two, I saved your motherfucking ass. No matter how many times you and that tiny motherfucking brain of yours to try to get us killed, I saved you, dawg. Man, you supposed to, my nigga. I thought we was homies for life. Me too, but I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. You live in a fantasy, homie. The best thing you can hope for is a big turn off of your motherfucking funeral. Nigga, ain't nobody coming to your funeral. What? Man, what about all the motherfucking times I saved your life, homie? What about that? Oh, thank you, homie. Thanks for leaving your nigga in the backfield. You know what, my nigga? If your ass can just act civilized, you would get some work. But instead, you want to be this gang-banging, mad dog and asshole. Oh, my bad, Mr. Gold Card. Excuse me, sir. Thank you for helping out a post street nigga like me, sir. You can go now, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nigga, who you think I am, nigga? Well, fuck you, Lamar. Nah, fuck you, F, nigga. I thought we was homies, nigga. But that's some shit that just got past you, my nigga. You know what, dawg? If something good comes up, I hit my dude, man. Chill out, all right? Yeah, whatever, nigga. You just hit me when you find out what the true concept of friendship is, nigga. We came from the sandbox together. I know that. I got you, dog. If something good come up, I got you. Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm in the turf, nigga, if you remember where that is. Oh! What's up, player? Hello, Franklin. Man, I don't know y'all. We done, Hey, man. we ain't done yet, homie. Not yet. Nearly. Man, what the fuck y'all want me to do? Kill the president? Fuck his wife or something? Or invade some fucking country? No, no. Something more sensible. Something that's gotta be done. Hey. When the timing's right, you're gonna take old Trevor and put him out to pasture, homie. Michael will be sensible, but Trevor... Trevor won't be. Trevor is a liability that none of us can afford. Man, Trevor saved you. He saved both y'all asses. And it's unfortunate. Hey, when we give you the word, you're gonna do this thing. Man, get Michael to do it. Me and Trevor cool, dawg. 
Michael can't do it. Trevor won't let him near. That's why it's up to you, homie. Hey, who was that? Nobody. Don't worry about it, nigga. Hey, flossing ass, nigga. 